these are the pumpkins I uh, probably over baked them a little bit but this is what they look like after taking them out of the oven the cooked pumpkin and the flesh is peeling off pretty easy to see what it looks like under there wait until it all cools down then I'm gonna scoop it out and then freeze some and then use some for now and freeze some for later on for the for the holidays later on here are my pumpkin seeds I'm cleaning them here's a great tip for someone cleaning pumpkin seeds for me anyway it's a good tip put it in a colander and you can have the water running over them as you squish them around inside of the colander you know it has holes in it and all the little goose stuff is rinsing off of them and this is easier to do than losing all the seeds if you just had them just sitting in a bowl put them in a colander sorry put them in a colander and then let the water run over them as you squish them with your hand and clean them I think it's a great tip Sharon is caring hey guys as you can see the top of my pumpkin got really dark brown but when I take this top part off look at that nothing was up in that bubble of that top of that uh that pumpkin it was all the, the pumpkin sunk in look at that and I don't believe it's gonna let me see mm. it tastes sweet just like when you bake squash when you roast squash or something all that sweetness come out but anyway the little brown spots on there I just taste it doesn't taste burnt that's the sugar that's in the pumpkin that turned it brown like that but just wanted to share that part right now I'm scooping it and putting it in a bowl I think I'm gonna have at least let me see I should have at least about maybe six seven cups from this big great big old pumpkin and then I'm just about to cream this pumpkin up I believe I guess I don't know but I'm about to store some and then today I'm using some it'll be in the video so keep watching and I'll keep fussing while y'all keep none watching some of y'all all right okay guys out of that great big old pumpkin I got six cups of pumpkin fresh pumpkin so I'm going to be putting some in the freezer for Thanksgiving Christmas but for today I'm definitely going to be baking a pumpkin cake muffins one of them and this is the measuring cup that I packed two cups worth of the the uh, pumpkin meat and then I put it in this freezer bag but I don't know if I'm gonna use my uh, uh, food saver thing I can't it ain't gonna be too long to use it for the next holiday so it won't get all iced over and stuff it'll keep in these freezer bags but anyway that's how I did it I just measured two cups of the the pumpkin meat after it was cooked in the oven for an hour a little bit too long because as you can see it got a little brown on top but that didn't affect the pumpkin itself and I also want to tell you since I have changed my diet and eating foods roasted without all the sugar this pumpkin is so delicious I know to a lot of you guys that are used to eating a lot of sugar you wouldn't appreciate freshly baked pumpkin but me I can because I can taste the sugar and the sweetness in this pumpkin and fresh pumpkins are very delicious so to you guys who can appreciate fresh baked pumpkin without all the sugar hey we know what's up it's part of the squash family like I when I uh, roast my um, my green squash or zucchini I don't add nothing because the roast roasting brings out the uh, sweetness the sugar out of it so on that pan all that little brown edge that's nothing but sugar and it's very good like I said I tasted the brown the dark brown part it's just more tastier to me in my opinion but fresh baked pumpkin is good I'm having my husband give me another pumpkin so I can do this again and do this more often with um, pumpkin 
squash and stuff like this. It's the season for all this stuff. So, guys, try and get you some fresh pumpkin if you like. And I am, this is still, this is part three. It's going to be a part four because the cake is not in this part. It's going to be in the next final video of pumpkin holiday cooking and fussing about non-supportive subscribers. And I also want to let you guys know, I am a small channel and I can understand people that's up into thousands, like 10,000 more, 9,000, whatever, of not being able to keep up and don't have to necessarily uh, acknowledge their subscribers when you're getting thousands and hundreds of thousands of subscribers. You can understand people not acknowledging them. But a small channel like mine, I'm expecting to be acknowledged because I don't have that many people. And a lot of us do have dead heads in our subscribers, like people we probably subscribed a long time ago. We're not being supported by them or we're vice versa. It's a lot of people with subscribers like that. But mostly we're just looking for help, a lot of us. I'm not the only one. So I ain't the only one complaining about this situation. But y'all know how it is. When you got thousands, okay, you can understand that. But when you're a small channel like mine, I expect to be getting the help. So, anyway, this is part three of pumpkin holiday cooking and fussing about non-supportive subscribers. All right, so I'll see y'all in part four with my cake.